Take a look at our Doppler, the only live Doppler radar in Connecticut scanning the state dry. We had some storms yesterday. Uh, right around this time, about 12 hours ago, 12, uh, 10 to 12 hours ago, and oh boy, there was a lot of lightning and thunder and some heavy downpours in the state. Uh, but for right now, we're scanning the state dry. Now let's talk about Hurricane Fiona. The five o'clock readings just came in. It is a strong Cat 3. Uh, you can see it moving away from the Dominican Republic, moving away from Puerto Rico. It's still raining in Puerto Rico, but not to the extent that they had. Now it's got its eyes on the Turks and Caicos, and this is moving towards the uh, north and to the east. Look at this, it's gonna turn into a major category four. Scoot right by Bermuda as a category four. It'll be to the west of Bermuda, but nonetheless, they're gonna get caught in its crosshairs. So keep a good thought. They could have 90 to 100 mile an hour wind gusts on Bermuda. Ugh, that's not good. And then the storm stays away. A cold front on Thursday morning is going to produce some scattered showers and thunderstorms here in our state. That cold front is the steering mechanism to keep the storm out to sea. So that's some good news. I know we're going to get lightning and thunder Thursday morning, but at least it's a steering mechanism to keep Fiona away from us. All right, we're dealing with some fog out there this morning. A quarter of a mile at Bradley, a quarter of a mile in Willimantic, a half a mile in Meriden, two miles at Oxford Airport in Waterbury. Not a great start in terms of the fog, but we have clear conditions above that fog, and it's going to be a pretty good day today. Now, later this afternoon, we do run the risk for some isolated showers. That's the result of some instability in the atmosphere. Uh, still hanging around and uh, a little daytime heating, so that could cause a scattered shower. 63 degrees in Hartford, that's 11 degrees above average. New Haven, 69 degrees. You guys were at 71 a couple of minutes ago. Now you've dropped to 69, but still way above average. And there's Windsor Locks. Look at the fog at Bradley. Remember I just told you it was a quarter of a mile? It's not looking too good out there at Bradley. They've got an extensive amount of fog. Much better in Torrington. Good morning to you. And we'll take you right now to Waterbury, where you can see a little bit of that fog in the distance there. Oxford Airport reporting two miles of visibility, 61 degrees this morning in Waterbury. All right, temperatures are balmy. They're way above average. 52 is where we should be. We've got 61 in a lot of locales. Salisbury, Torrington, Waterbury, Willimantic, Putnam. So almost a full 10 degrees above average in the dew points. They're going to be coming down during the day today, so it's not going to be as warm and it's not going to be as humid as it was yesterday. We've got a temperature differential anywhere from 3 to 4 degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. The winds are calm. They'll be out of the northwest today. Let's take a look at early morning future cast. Tomorrow's weather today. There's that little blip, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Grab an umbrella, throw it in the back seat of your car. It's going to be moving through the state quickly, and it's going to be short-lived. There it goes. And by 5 o'clock, we're back to partly to mostly cloudy skies, and then we should see partly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Tomorrow looks exceptional. Daytime highs today, climbing to the upper uh, mid-70s. Sun and clouds, isolated showers, and then your seven-day forecast tomorrow, close to 80 degrees again. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. Thursday morning storms. Thursday morning storms. We're talking about uh, 73 degrees. Autumn arrives at night, uh, 9.04 in the evening, and then much cooler for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with temperatures in the low to mid-60s. Look at those overnight lows. Woo! 49, 45. Ooh, that's right. Saturday morning when you wake up, it's going to be chilly. And then uh, we do rebound a little bit for Sunday. Here come your shoreline highs, pretty equivalent to where we're headed inland. Five